And then we'll go ahead and take some questions after that. Coach, whenever you're ready. After a real disappointing loss, you know, we wasted a good shooting night out of Shaq and Keon. You know, those two guys combined to go 12 to 23 from three, and we, we kind of wasted You know, we kept telling them in the hot start that our defense wasn't going to be good enough to win the game, you know, and, and that's what ended up happening. You know, we, uh, they were 1.48 at the end of the game, you know, is what we gave up defensively. Our offense was 100% good enough to win this game, but we couldn't. We couldn't get stops when we needed to. We didn't get stops early in the game when we were hot. We should have been up 20 if we had guarded like we we're supposed to. They played the, the whole game without a point guard. We only turned them, turned them over seven times. Like we didn't, we didn't play hard enough on the ball. We didn't, we just didn't, we didn't play hard enough to win a, a tough road game. And we had a great chance to win it, you know, with Wheeler and Washington out. So we, we wasted an opportunity, we wasted a good shooting night. It's, Disappointing to lose games and feel like our effort wasn't where it needed to be to win a road game. So tough loss. You know, we got to, guys got to figure out how hard they need to play to win these road games because we, we got two more road games left uh, this year and we need to win them. So we got to figure out how to play a lot better on the road. Thanks, Coach. Let's go ahead and get started. Austin Hammond, go ahead and start us off. Hey, Coach, you kind of mentioned it just a second ago, but what do you think? It's kind of been a theme all year on the road. Seems like your team's been really hot shooting, but just can't get enough defensive stops to win. Whereas on your home floor, you kind of grit out wins on the defensive end. What, what do you think is the difference between home and road? Test, test, one, two. You can hear me? All right. Okay. So, I, yeah, I'm not sure where I was in that, uh, that answer, but it was, you know, it was a road versus home effort on the defensive end. I don't have an answer for the shooting. That, that's the gym we shoot in all the time. We should be shooting the ball better at home. You know, I, I don't really have any. We shot it well. We shot here last night before the game. We shot it really well. I thought – We'd have a great shooting night. And, you know, we, we ended up having a, an average shooting night. I mean, better than average for us this year, but 35% from three is not a great shooting night. We had a great shooting night from two guys. You know, everybody else ended up two for 17. That, that's a, a very poor shooting night. So, I, you know, you can't really say you shot great on the road. We had a great start. Two guys shot well. The defensive things, the, the, the main issue here, like – why are defense so bad on the road sometimes? You know, I don't know, but it's, you know, at times it's been okay. You know, at Mississippi State, we played good defense. We just couldn't finish the game with the uh, the rebounding. So, you know, if we don't guard Vanderbilt, we're, 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 we can't win at Vanderbilt if we don't play better defense. So, got to get guys to play a lot harder is what, what we got to do. Charlie Potter, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, you guys were in a bit of a groove early on, but seemed to cool off after that long review of the foul on Darius. Just do you think that had an effect on you guys? And, and how poor of timing is that? Yeah, it's real poor timing. I think they they went on a uh, – with the run, they, they outscored a 16-5 to five to close the half out, I believe, after his flagrant. So, you know, we got to be smarter than that. You know, they – you know, I thought, you know, him and Ware were getting into a little bit. I thought Ware kind of – to end, we're going to push him on this, on their offensive end. Then Darius has to be smarter. He can't retaliate. You know, we go to the other end, and they said Darius got him above the uh, above the shoulders. Any contact up in the face area above the shoulders is supposed to be flagrant, even if it was light. So we got to be smarter than that. You know, we were we were up ten, I believe, at, the, at that time. I think forty one thirty one, and you know, it didn't go well after that. Let's go next to my bro, that. Yeah, Kentucky got called for only seven fouls in the game. Just how much do you think it impacted you to not be able to get to the line and have those opportunities there? Yeah, I mean, it was big. I thought, you know, there were some drives that we had some contact on that maybe could have been called. But, you know, but they, you know, they feed the post a little bit more than we do. You know, we took 43s a night. So, on our 29 twos, most of them were downhill attacking. You know, 
maybe there could have been a few more, but but uh, to, to me, that's more indicative of our guys not being aggressive enough coming downhill. You know, we, we, we've got to do a better job getting the free throw line. But, you know, they didn't, they didn't have any depth tonight. I mean, you look at outside of their starters, Damian Collins played four minutes. Nobody else, you know, two guys played two minutes each and Lance Ware played a minute. So, you know, they played their five starters 39 and a half minutes, 39, 38 and a half, 35, 37, and we couldn't put any of them in foul trouble at all because we, we weren't aggressive enough coming downhill. That, you know, starts with your guards being aggressive, attacking, coming off ball screens, and I didn't think we were aggressive enough. Okay, Nick Kelly, go ahead. You keep talking about uh, the need to play harder. I mean, is that something you guys can help with messaging? Is that uh, personal choices, or what kind of is that? Yeah, I mean, everybody's responsible for their own personal effort. You know, we, we've uh, – we haven't – for whatever reason, this year we haven't been able to get them to give us the effort they need to win big games every every time out. And we've lost multiple games because of an effort deal, which is frustrating as a coach. Like, what, what do I need to do better – off to get the messaging through to them. How do we motivate them better to play hard? Like, you know, some of it's your own personal pride too. Like I, we've got, we're losing some games. I'm not necessarily saying today, you know, they've got really good players here at Kentucky. It's Kentucky, but we've lost games to teams with lesser players than us because they played harder than us. To me, there's a personal pride factor that goes into, if I'm going to work as hard in this game as I have over the last 10, 15 years for some of these guys. Some of these guys, this is what they've done their whole life. How am I going to get myself to a point where I'm more skilled than the guy I'm going across from, but he beats me because he plays harder than me? It's very, it's very frustrating to watch. It's, um, it's not a recipe for winning on a consistent basis, and that's why I think we've seen the ups and downs we've had this year. John DeParo, you got follow-up? Yeah, because you just mentioned um, Shaq and Keon and, and their shooting performance. Just – as a bright spot, how good was it to see Keon kind of bounce back after he was uh, held scoreless against Mississippi State? That was great. He came out aggressive. You know, we uh, showed him a little highlight video of himself, kind of showed him different stuff. Like, let's get back to being this Keon. I mean, he's a graphic came out on Twitter this week that showed he was the most efficient wing creator in the country. Like, he's good. I mean, he's, he's a really good player that's been great for us. Here, you just need to get back to being more aggressive and on the shot a little bit more. I mean, I don't know if any of those first five shots he had even hit the, hit the rim. I mean, they, he, he was playing with some confidence. He was great. You know, we, we it, it's ironic. You know, we chart these blue collar points, which are effort things, which, you know, supposed to get guys to try to play harder. You know, he let us, you know, it was, we as a team, he, he had, I think he had 19 and a half. We as a team, you know, I think when we went out and played Gonzaga, we were at 116 or 126, so right around 120. We had 84 and a half tonight. Like we, we didn't play hard enough. Like Keon led us with 19 and a half, which is what we've been trying to tell these guys all year. You lose yourself in a game and just play really hard, like your offense usually follows. So, you know, we had the next closest guy only had 11 and a half blue collar points. So Keon – Played really hard. Offense went well for him. He kind of lost himself in the game playing hard. And the game rewarded him, and he had a great offensive game, you know, to go along with his effort on the defense. Then. All right. Looks like we have no more questions. Thanks, Coach.